Hello boys and girls. Today I'm going to read a story for you. It's about a little girl who doesn't like to eat very many things. Her brother tries to help her learn to like them by playing a trick on her and calling them different things. The name of the book is I Will Never Not Ever Eat a Tomato. The author of this book is Lauren Child. This is Charlie and Lola. Maybe you've seen them on TV once in a while. We're going to read this story and find out how Charlie helps Lola to like different kinds of foods. I have a little sister. Her name is Lola. She's very small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give Lola her dinner. This is difficult because she's a very fussy eater. Look at her face. She looks like she doesn't want to eat anything. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, well, what about peas? And Lola says, peas are too small and too green. So one day I decided to play a trick on her. Lola was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner. And she says, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges and I'm not fond of apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and I will absolutely never not ever eat a tomato. And I said that's lucky because we don't we're not having any of those things we're not going to eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages and there will be no cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and certainly no tomatoes. Lola looked at the table. Then why are there carrots there, Charlie? I do not ever eat carrots. And I said, oh, you think these are carrots? They're not carrots, they're orange twiglets from Jupiter. <gasps> they look just like cats to me, said Lola. But how can they be carrots? Carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, says Lola. Well, I might try just one. And if they're all the way from Jupiter, mmm, they're not bad, she said. And she took another bite. Look at that, she's eating carrots. Lola saw some peas. I don't eat peas, said Lola. These are not peas. Of course they're not. They are green drops from Greenland and they're made out of green and fall from the sky. Oh, but I don't eat green things, said Lola. Oh, goody, I said. I'll have your share of green drops. They're so incredibly rare. Oh, well, maybe... I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, said Lola, these are quite tasty. Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try, not even a mashed potato. Hmm. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People often think that, but no, this is a cloud fluff from the pointiest pink of Mount Fuji. Oh, said Lola, in that case, I'll have a large helping for me. I love to eat clouds. Charlie, those look like fish sticks to me. I would never eat fish sticks. I know that. Those are not fish sticks. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket. Under the sea, mermaids eat them all the time. <gasps> oh, I went to that supermarket one time with Mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before, said Lola. She gobbled them up. Are there any more? And then she says, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, what? One of those? Lola says, yes, Charlie, one of those. 
I couldn't believe my eyes because guess what she was pointing at? The tomatoes. And I said, are you sure, really, one of these? And she said, yes, of course, moon squirters are my favorite. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? That's so silly. She decided she liked everything. The carrots were orange twiglets. The peas were green drops. The fish sticks were ocean niblets. The potatoes were cloud fluff. And the tomatoes were moon squirters. How fun. Sometimes when we see a food that we haven't tried before, it could be very delicious if we try it. I hope you try a new food today. See you later. Bye-bye.